Hello, hello everybody out there in craft world. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back with my blue garden journal. Um, we're just progressing slowly, sort of page or two a day, that sort of thing. Uh, and this is the one that I'm going ahead with. And then this is the one that we're working on together. There are two signatures, however, I should warn you. Unless, of course, it doesn't work out and then there'll only be one. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember I put this lace on last time, the last time we met. Uh, I might not have done, so that's a recent addition. Um, then we've got this that we did last time. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. I really like it. And it uh, flips out like that. And then we've got a little tuck in there with a little journaling card inked around there. All very nice. And then this is what we're going to be doing now it's a fairly straightforward tummy tuck or um, belly band whichever you choose to call it with a nice big journaling card behind so we've got some meaningful journaling space because i'm very aware that all these pretty things that i'm putting in are really nice but they don't allow for a whole heck of a lot of journaling so uh, we've got that in there and that's what we're going to be doing so let's get cracking so it's on this page here so the first thing that i did well let's take the page out of the book that's always a good idea and then you won't get ink or any any nastiness that you don't want on the rest of your journal so i'm just going to take that out leave it like that and pop it up there out of the way right so first thing that I want to do is stamp the background with the uh, illegible text uh, I like that makes good background just takes the plainness off it without it um, being way way over the top so I just want something to put down there to stop me yeah oh, no I need that for later just a uh, just something to stop me going over onto the this page which might might end up with a legible font but it might not so that's fine there and I'm using my same ink as I've used throughout the distress ink in faded jeans and I did order some archival ink in faded jeans and I still haven't seen it yet so I don't know where it is but it's not here so I'm just, this is what you're told not to do, take the stamp to the ink, but I'm not fussed about a really good print or anything. I just want bits like that on it, which are perfect. And that's great. That's enough. Job done. That's really nice. I love that stamp, actually. Okay, cookie, okay, right then the next thing is um the next thing is yes it is that is the next thing <laughs> wait till I get my, my, my all my goods around me then I'll know. Right, next thing to do is to make the actual belly band itself and for that I'm using this cream card that I've used uh, throughout the journal and I want it to sit just inside the stitch line. I don't want to cover that stitch line up. So I want it there. And yeah, you see, I knew already something I've forgotten, my pencil. My pencil is on the wrong table. So bear with me. I'll just be a second. Else you think you need while you're here? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm back. It's only about two feet over there, and uh, yeah, I've been working there this morning, and I thought I'd brought everything over with me that I needed, but of course I hadn't. That would just be too organised. I'm just going to put that somewhere. I don't want to get any ink on anything. 
So I'm just going to trim that off as I say so it's just fits inside the stitching line. Let's just check that before we go on. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Right, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold stitch around it. But we're not going to fold stitch freehand. Oh no, not us. We've got fancy fold stitching. Look at this. It's a... Uh, it's from Studio Light, who are a Dutch company. Oh, look at all the ink I've got on me. That's awful. Mrs. Inky Fingers. Um, yeah, they're a Dutch company and they're actually a very reasonably priced company. The things that they do are reasonably priced. Um, and this is one of the things they do, which is these strip stamps, which sort of emulate full stitching. I'm not sure that it's altogether quicker than actually drawing on full stitching, but it makes you feel better. So um, I used the little cross stitch one on here and it looks nice. I like it, but I, I think I'll try something different on this one just for the heck of it. I think I will try the one that looks like blanket stitch because why not? And these are new. Well, they're new to me. I don't know if they're new or new completely or not, but uh, they're acting like the new stamps in as much as they're quite difficult to ink. Make sure that's straight. I just have to pull it a little bit to get it straight. That's it. Okay. I'll ink it up and hope for the best. That piece of cream card has got two sides. So if it goes awfully wrong, we'll just turn it over and use the other side. So let's see then. Which way, which way do I want it? That way, I think. Okay. So just on the edge, just close to the edge anyway. I really don't like stamping with distress ink. I don't think you get a good stamp at all. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Nice. So, which way am I going? That way. So, I don't need ink all of that. I just want to get to the top. Well, the sun's shining here today. It's a beautiful day, which has helped my health and temper no end. Um, and I've got some laundry going on in the washing machine. I always like that when it's a nice day and you can get it out to dry. I hate having to pay to put the tumble dryer on. So I just leave it all till I've got a good, dry, sunny, windy day, perfect laundry day, and then it all gets done. The weather forecast said it was going to rain all day, which is why it hasn't been done prior to this and out on the line already. Uh, but as usual, the weather forecast was way wrong. There we are. I quite like this. It looks random. Quite like random at the moment. Going through a random period. Picasso had his blue period and his rose period. I've got random, which is very fitting. It's a really big block this and it's a bit unwieldy but it's the only block I had that was long enough to get this long stamp on so it is a bit dodgy. And we're getting there. I mean you can 
far more quickly than this so around it I'm aware of that <laughs> I just kind of like the idea of it something different a bit of fun goes that way doesn't it a bit of fun is what it is oh that's very near the edge this last bit along the bottom and there we go we've sewn round our belly band there we have it I just wipe that over with my Timmy towel as I say it's only the distress ink so it will come off no problem I'm just going to put that away because otherwise I'll, I'll tell you I'm going to put it away and it doesn't get put away and then before you know it, you don't know where any of the stamps are. So I'm putting it away like a good girl. Right, that's those then. So here we have it, our belly band. So what I've done is I've taken two of the Tim Holtz wildflower dies and I've painted them. You've seen me do this so often that I don't need to show you again. I know I don't. Uh, usually I use watercolours to paint with. Today I just used the distress ink, smooshed it down on my glass mat, put some water in it and just used that to paint with. And I did the same with this piece here. The green is watercolour. I just want to put those there like that. Exactly like that. I think that, that makes a really, really impactful belly band actually. So there we go. Let's just... Well, I'll stick this one on first because it goes on the bottom. I'm just going to use my tacky glue. Bobby got a new toy yesterday. Uh, Mr F went shopping. Well, he went to a car boot actually. But while he was out that direction, he got the groceries, etc. And I'd said to him some while ago, if you see a new toy for Mr B, would you get it because all of his toys have been squeaky toys when they were purchased but they no longer squeak and he loves it when they squeak we not so much not so much for us because he can be noisy and he can go on and on and on for ages but he enjoys it so that's, that's all that matters isn't it um so yeah mr f came home with a new squeaky toy for the boy and uh, we had quite a quite a noisy evening <laughs> but he seems to have got over that now and probably forgotten all about it to be honest there we are that's that one down let's pop this one sort of next to it like bend it slightly I think so it's coming more over that way I think I do like that ink as a as a watercolor it's it works well which is of course that's what it should do it should work well and I've, I've I um, die cut them onto watercolor paper quite thick watercolor paper actually not the stuff I usually use this is proper just happened to have it to hand, so it's, it was what I grabbed. Yeah, usually I think I use a mixed media paper, and it's perfectly fine. But as I say, this is what I had to hand. So I'm just going to start those stalks off about the same, and then bend that round like that. I'm just going to get my Timmy towel to push that down. And pick up any glue that comes out at the same time so he's do doing double duty that's the thing about this thick watercolor card it is thick and it does take a bit of persuading to actually stick down once it's stuck, I think we're all right. Okay. 
I'm just going to press that down because when it's coming up over this one it uh, doesn't want to stick. Should have thought about that really <laughs> before I did it. <laughs> there we are, I think that's really pretty. It's so simple but it's really pretty, I, I, I really like it. So what the only other thing that I did then was uh, sew some buttons on. No, I didn't sew them on. I actually sewed some um, thread, some of the cotton pearly, through the buttons, tied a knot, so it looks like they're sewn on. Um, and then it, it's just up to us where we put them, really. Could have a row of three if you wanted. Looks quite nice. Or you could have two and one that looks quite nice or you could have two and one over there <laughs> the first decision that we have to make there's only been one so far and yeah i can't decide that's the for the way that i had it on on the one i've already done so I'll probably stick to that i think yeah, I think I'll stick to that. So I'm going to use this little Collal Gem glue. And hopefully it will do the job for us. It should be, according to the reading, perfect for this sort of job. So let's hope so. And pop some of that on, pop that down in the corner. Press it down a little bit, but I think it will be fine. And the reason that I saw through the buttons before I put them onto the into the journal is if you just put them on with no thread in them, they look just like you've st stuck some buttons on, which is exactly what we've done. I'm aware of that. That is exactly what we've done. But um, if you put the thread in, it looks like they're sewn on. You uh, kid people into think you've actually sewn them on which I would do if I thought it was better, but uh, I don't think it is really. So I'll pop this one up in this top corner, like that. And there, uh, you've got it. That should be all right. So let's give those a good press. Okay, that's lovely. That's that, that's the belly band done. It's really nice. So I do want to make, however, a big journaling card to go behind it. And I want it the same size as this one. So, well, there's no point me telling you the measurements because I've actually cut my journal down. But um, for the sake of argument, it is six and three quarters by five six and three quarters by five so let's chop off a bit of that blue card to those measurements six and three quarters by five i have to keep saying it or i'll forget six and three quarters by five. oh dear me it's not easy six and three quarters by five let's cut the five off this way And six and three quarters. Oh, can't do it on here. Oh, I'll have to guess. I think it's about there. I'm guessing there. Yeah, this only goes up to six. I do wish it went up a little bit higher occasionally. Um, and then I used this paper uh, to go onto the journal card. Now, this paper is not from the blue garden kit it is also from chapter one but it is called rosy posy and it's gorgeous it's another really soft pretty kit which is as you know right up my street uh, so i'm going to have to mark this because i can't measure it so i'm just going to put that on there and i want this to be slightly smaller than the blue so i'm just going to bring it in a little bit from the edge where i want it to be take my pencil 
and mark a little bit down from the top edge where I want it to be and <clears throat> cut that. Like so. And then I'll just measure it again this way. So in a little bit where you want your margin to be and then mark it at the other side where you want the margin to be. So about there. And that should give us a nice journaling card when we stick it all together. Keep all your remnants. Remnants of gold dust. <clears throat> now what I want to do is round all these corners because it is a journaling card. So I'm going to round all of the ones on the blue and all of the ones on the design sheet. Oops, that's a bit of a wonky. Bit of a wonky donkey. Right, and I've cut it, so I'm going to ink it. Where's my dauber? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to have a quick drink. It is very warm here. Very, very pleasant. It is the middle, well, it's not the middle of June, is it? It's nearly the end of June. <clears throat> so it's about time we saw some sunshine. I hope it's nice where you are. I hope it's not too hot or too cold. In England, we're fixated by weather. <laughs> and I think, actually, that's because... You can never tell from one day to the next what exactly the weather's going to do. So it is always a talking point because it's always of interest because it varies day to day. I'm using Colol for this. This is thick card. It would take any glue, I think. But if you're using thinner papers, just beware if you're using <clears throat> PVA or water-based glue because it can wrinkle them. And then that's all your hard work gone. Colal's alcohol-based so it doesn't, doesn't wrinkle your papers. Well, I certainly have never known it to. So place that on with an equal margin around. Like that, I'd say that's fine. Press it down. Lid on your glue. <laughs> now you could decorate this. There's absolutely nothing stopping you decorating this. Except I don't think it needs it. And it's going to be pushed in and out of the belly band. So I want it to be smooth. I don't want it to get caught on anything. So, okay, we're doing okay. This is the page that's going on. I'm just going to put that flip over to the other side so there's, I've got no bulk here. And I'm going to get my ruler out because I want to put this on square. <laughs> and 10 to 1 on it wouldn't be if I was just depending on my eyes. So... Usually it's an inch and a quarter in, so let's have a look, see what we think of that. Yeah, I want it slightly less on this side, slightly more on the spine side. Because, um, you know, it gets caught up in the spine, blah, blah. I'm just, I think an inch and a quarter is right. I'm just checking to make sure I've got it exactly bang on. I'm going to use my... Um, Tacky glue for this, which has already decided to tuck up. There we go. Right. 
Lovely. So let's hold the ruler and pop that on. Just press it up against the ruler and you should be fine. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, quite happy with that. There we go. It looks rather nice. So let's slide our uh, journaling card in there. So yeah, that slides in beautifully. Not impeded by anything. And let's pop it back in our journal. Well, before we do that, I'll just pop this one back into there. Close that one up. And this is the one we are working on. So I want to just flip that back onto its right page. Pop that in there. And there we have it. What a nice, easy peasy page, but very impactful, I think. I hope you agree. And really, really easy, guys. Don't get put off because it's got painting on and stuff. I've shown you how to do it. It really, really is easy. So I hope you like that. Just an easy page. I quite like that faux stitching. I don't know what you think of it. The jury's probably out a bit, I guess. But uh, I quite like it. It's just so different. <laughs> All right, then. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.